What if I tell you that you could be going from a window frame that looks like this to this without any baking and in only a few minutes? It's a technique called mid poly workflow and it's used in AAA to cut down on time and not compromising on quality. So let's look into it and let's learn how to do it. So oh, a little disclaimer, uh, from going to this one, to this one, there were a tiny, tiny bit of adjustments here and there, uh, added geometry just to make it less straight, but this is very, very minor. And this is absolutely not comparable to bringing it uh, to ZBrush, sculpting, um, retopologize, and then baking, and then adjusting the baking and this and that. So this was still done in a matter of minutes. So now let's look into the theory. So here we have a cube of 100 centimeter, and we can already check the normals using this edit normal modifier and as you see each vertices on each face uh, is for a hard surface for hard edge like this going to be at a 90 90 degree angle from one to the other right like in every direction it's 90 degrees so now if i were to make a copy and I can, I'll delete the normals for now. Um, so the principle of the weighted normals is very simple. It's um, different than going with the turbo smooth, you know, with supporting edges and trying to add tons of uh, edges and vertices. It's actually very, very simple. We want to add chamfers. Uh, the way that we're going to do this is by selecting all our edges and using this chamfer here. Uh, we could be using, honestly, any values. It would work. Uh, I personally like to use a zero segment for having a clear, clear space to work with. And this is like a very basic chamfered cube, right? So if I don't do anything, of course, it's completely hard edge everywhere. And now let's look into the normals. Well, it's basically the same as what we had previously, but there is more vertices. So it kind of goes in between, sorry, like it goes in between. So it's basically 90 and 45 degrees pretty much everywhere. Right? It's pretty, pretty logical. It's really following a very simple logic. Let me delete the edit normals for now. And well, actually, no, let's, let's keep it just, just for having a reference, right? I'll make another copy, which is what we will end up with. So we have our chamfers and here I, for, temporarily, I'm going to delete the edit normals and we are going to select all the polygons. This is how the weighted normals work. So it's actually to just modify the smoothing groups and the way it works is to clear all well at least in in 3ds max it's clearing all the smoothing groups and setting everything to one okay we'll unselect and now if i remove the edges i mean this this was available uh for a long time right it was already available it's actually it is smoothing right it's, it's quite smooth but it's also completely weird and there's something off. It's a smoothing group problem and you will never get away with that. So with the weighted normals, it's actually a modifier in 3ds Max 2021 and more the more recent versions. You just use the modifier and for our needs, we don't need to play with the, with the settings. It's doing its thing already perfectly. It's perfectly smooth and you can check from every angle, like all the smoothing groups 
actually it's one smoothing group right but it's working perfectly and this will transition in the game engine whatever game engine it's gonna work perfectly fine so let's look into the edit normal so there you have it it's either called um it's either called a balanced weighted normals or the average uh average weighted normals because literally if i were i think i will have to apply the modifier on all of them if it's possible I'm not sure it's possible but ah there you go so this is like the more the most clear clearly visible example of what is going on so it's basically we have the same result the same normals as with the super hard edge cube so it's see then we applied our chamfer and then of course everything was hard edge but now everything is smooth and the budget let me go in statistics just a quick trick if you want to see in 3ds max every single mesh there are many other ways to do that but so you have of course 12 would be your basic cube with nothing right and then our smoothed weighted normal is 26 so basically if you want to have it obviously works way better with the i mean it does work for hard surface assets right more or less i mean the more hard surface the better the result and as you understand what this will allow you we can jump in unreal engine is to have some uh well like in this case you know architectural assets right the walls also have the weighted normals and then all the all the the frame all the window frame has it so that will allow you to have a way better look like i'm not going to use the word detail because it's not really highly detailed but this to the eye like even from a distance like even if we were to go out like this screams super hard straight lines hard edges very boring not interesting right the silhouette is super super simple and we see that this is low detail this here doesn't do that right you you cannot tell that this is super low or you i mean of course you can't tell that this is super high neither but like it's more pleasing to the eye right it's um it passes as much higher quality and the budget is very reasonable so this is why it's a big big trend uh, and it has been a big trend in AAA game development because the result is very good and the budget is respected and it allows us for uh well tons of uh, of copy that obviously we would instantiate uh but anyways it looks much better now for a little bit of the dark side not the dark side but like all the benefits are very clear right but now the thing is that it's not super i would say super flexible like you would have one window like that uh, and you cannot like you if you copy right because that would be from from a house like like this one and i have multiple windows and using that technique well it's the exact same right so i would need additional techniques to make them look different or have variation but all of those techniques are also very common in AAA, and they will be covered on this channel in the near future another important thing about the weighted normals is regarding the tessellation in unreal engine so from unreal engine 5.5 even maybe a little bit before but for sure it's since version 5.5.1 um 
the tessellation has been changing and we are very happy it's working well we have uh, a lot of options but in order for it to work properly we need to use the weighted norms so let's look at a very simple wall this is uh, three meters by uh, four meters three meter high by four meters long and we just want to test what it will look like if i add tessellation in unreal engine okay so we are in unreal engine 5 we have imported the two walls and they are the same except on the left it's a basic wall and on the right it's a wall with weighted normals so i have assigned the same material same instance that i'm about to bring right here and we will enable the tessellation and see what is going on so enable tessellation boom uh, in some cases uh, depending on the version you're using of unreal you might have to right click on in the content browser and enable nanite on the mesh itself from 5.5.4 um it's automatic uh it, it's you don't need to do that but i remember having to do it every single time before so let's enable tessellation let's uh, turn on the displacement scaling so you have control of that and you can play i mean you see that something is going on it's it's really ugly but uh, yeah, it's our job to fix it but it it shows that it's working right so we have the tessellation and i have a very simple control here uh displacement strength but it's going to be enough for showing what i want to show so on the left it breaks the mesh it works right it's doing the tessellation thing but all the edges are opened up it's that you see the i mean you see you don't it's not really the chamfers right but it's where you would have chamfers since i don't have i don't have the chamfers and i don't have the weighted normal so it's doing that and it's absolutely unusable right i can't fix it here like there's no world where that would be acceptable but on the other hand here it works and, and don't uh, don't judge the top part because it's a different material right because i'm using a trim sheet so let's uh, uh, because of the pixel density in the trim sheet i'm using but let's just judge those corners here the bottom and this side so of course we could we we would definitely add more controls because if i use a very strong but that's honestly that's completely a different issue but if i go very strong it stretches those edges but it's not a problem because if i go and I'm using a reasonable value, it's absolutely fine. Whereas on the other, other mesh, it's not fine at all. So this is where your weighted normal will be essential. You will need it. If you are only using this and you expect to use tessellation in Unreal Engine, it's not gonna work.